Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Arc Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you what is the best changes in SketchUp 2023.5 new updates. So, as you can see, icons completely changed in the SketchUp and one of the eye-catching changes is the icons. You can see some type of much better performance and graphic works we have on the uh, SketchUp icons and you can see these changes in all of these type of icons absolutely large tool sets and it's really good work for now but it's not really affect your modeling so we have the uh, position camera and you can set your camera shot much easier than the past and moving your environment like that as you can see I have some type of 3D model in here that I rendered at the previous tutorials and we have some option in the Enscape called field of view but now in the SketchUp we have field of view too. For example, you can close your shot like that and convert your camera shot to the two point perspective and use the field of view or FOV for closing your target and shots in the depth of your horizon. So it's really good and works well in some type of presentations. And one of the another changes related to the uh, icons in the style box. As you can see in the style box, we have some different type of options for modeling our environment. First one related to the uh, edges. The edges not really changed completely but we have the previous settings in here and we can create these type of graphical settings for our 3d model but in the uh, other place like the uh, face color or face setting we have back color and front color nothing changed right now but in the background setting we have some option that called horizon as you can see before Horizon, we only can do this job in the uh, style builder or layout in a SketchUp. But right now, in the SketchUp 2023.1, we have Horizon color. And it could be help you in some type of graphical presentation for architectural designs in university. How we can do this work? First of all, I can change the uh, sky color from the blue, for example, to some color like the... Uh, a little bit orange so I can set this color manually for example something like that and we have some type of light blue horizon color in here and I click on the horizon and for example change it to some type of violet and press ok you can see the changes in the background and it's really good for some type of special presentations and when you activate your ground color and convert it to the uh, something near to the black you can see the changes completely and it's really good. So for example, in here, I want to change the horizon color to something near to the uh, sunset. So something like the brown or red can be useful. And the result is something like that. And you can use it in your 3D models. If you want to show this face much better, you can turn off all of the depth of queue extension and endpoints or profiles. And after that, in the face setting, you can change it to the white display and we will have this type of displayment in here. So all of them completely depends on you and what you want from the rendering. So in the uh, displays watermark setting, nothing changed. You can add your personal logos or companies and modeling setting related to the model access and some other things. So I can update this style here in the tags, nothing changed and shadows as you can see in the shadows i feel some type of better performance for my job and better detail or quality in sun shading you can play with the sun in different type of months and seasons and change the time of the day very simple and easy something like that and use the sun for the uh, shading but none of them is the new update because we can see these settings at the previous versions of the sketchup and some other options in the uh, large tool set, for example, Trimble Scan Essentials. You can add it to displays, for example, this one, flip open cloud files, or you can turn off the uh, point cloud, 
or 50% blending for the uh, uploading your 3D files in the uh, SketchUp or 3D warehouse and some other things like that. So as you can see, we have this environment totally and the result is something like that. So all of these points related to the uh, SketchUp new update and materials in here, nothing change. And I hope at the next updates, we can see some type of new textures and materials because it's really necessary and all of the 3D artists have some problem with this point in SketchUp. So we have flip option in here, only icons change and everything is done in here. So for example, I want to open the Enscape in here to see what happened at the new environment. New update of the SketchUp really affects the rendering? I don't think so because it's only related to the modeling. But I use the Enscape 3.5.2 new update of the Enscape and I match it with the SketchUp 2023.1 and it takes a little bit of time and after that we can see the result in the Enscape environment. So I think now it will be done for us after a second because it takes a little bit time sometimes. Yes, something like that we created at the uh, previous sessions and tutorials and you can see the result in here. Something like that. I can change the time of the day. Very simple and easy. To reach to the best result of my 3D job. So this is the... Uh, complete setting that I want to talk about it in the uh, SketchUp 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for your watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and goodbye.